Hello there beautiful people and welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions and video requests, make sure to drop them online in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please be a witness for that because I made over 200 videos on Shopify customizations. And they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you the information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe or maybe now you should consider doing so because if you don't, you lose. Why is that? This is a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations in videos, but now I'll be sharing complete sections, highly customizable to make your Shopify store very professional without having to pay for those expensive teams or hiring those expensive developers or worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications, which is not a very good idea. Or I'll give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, not that you be the judge and I respect your decision. But for now, let me show you how to act, customize the header drop down menu to add a new layer and make it very, very appealing. I mean, visually appealing instead of using the box that drop down menu doesn't have any extra layer which is does not very look good so we will add another level to the drop down and make it very unique we'll have actually an interactive once you hover over them i mean the items on the drop down menu and once you click on the menu it will open a new drop down on the right of the drop down menu and i promise you you will be really amazed by this one because we will use our own custom code no applications involved so without any more talking let's just jump to it as you can see, by the way, this is Shopify down team. So I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. So each video adds small custom JSON, as I said, but now I'll be adding a new section. So by the video of like 80 or 70, the team will be completely different. But because as I said, this is a new chapter, I think I'll reach that level by 20 or 30 videos. Check out this section, for example. This is all in one reviews carousel, though, which are reviews from Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Etsy, all in one place. And it's filterable. If I click on Google, as you can see, it will only show me the reviews from Google, and so on for Amazon, and, uh, Facebook, and Amazon, and Etsy. Or check out this sales notification, as you can see, on your Shopify store by using your own custom code. And it will show the recent purchases, on uh, the recent sales on your Shopify store. It's highly customizable. You can customize the behavior for it and you customize for who to actually show up and how long it stays and the interval time between each notification and many, many more options. And the best part about this is no applications involved by using your own custom code. So what else are you waiting for, man? I'm just joking. Let me show you how to customize this ugly thing, as you can see. Check out this drop down menu. It doesn't look very good and it doesn't suit my uh, down team. As you can see now, down team, it looks very different. But this drop down menu looks ugly, man. In this video, we will transfer and you will be amazed how it looks like after. So let's just keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So the first thing you're going to do is click on the or access Shopify dashboard. If you're already in Shopify dashboard, click on online store, then click on teams, then click on the three dots or left of customize and click on edit code. And it will take you to the code editor because as I said, we will add our own, our own custom code. And the next thing we're going to do, we need to find a specific file on the left panel right here. Instead of looking at folders on, and files, you might get dizzy. Use the search bar at the top left corner, then type in team.liquid. Just like you see this file right here, team.liquid. Simply click on it. A bunch of liquid code will show up, no worries. I will show you how to implement this just like you are five years old, no worries. So scroll all the way down, not all the way down, like halfway, or hold on a second. Click on the code just like you want to write something. If you are using Windows, click on Control F, I'm on Mac. I'm going to click on Command F and it will show me this prompt at the bottom of the page right here. Then simply type in forward slash head, just like you see, hit enter, and it will highlight it on the code as you can see. So this is the section we need to find in here. But we need to create some space above forward slash head. Let me close this one first. So as I said, we need to create some space above and before this forward slash head. And to do so, simply click front of the last thing above it, which is in my case is this end if. Click front of it, then hit enter on your keyboard. Here we go. We have a completely new space above and before the forward slash body. This is very important, otherwise it will not work. And after you create the space, simply pass in the code. And where are you gonna get that code? You need to hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours. I'm just joking. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link my website, completely free again. Click on it, then download the code, then simply open the file with any text editor on your computer, then copy the whole code inside it, then simply paste it in here. That's very simple, right? Paste it in the space that we did create above forward slash body, head, sorry. Then click on the save button, wait for a couple of seconds, it saved it. We will get back in here, reload the page and see what that will do. So let's just reload the page. 
it looks a little bit different, right? Let me zoom in on it so you can see. Oh, it has an animation once I hover over an element. If I click on the drop down, if I click on footwear, for example, it opens a new layer, as you can see. And this is not available on the team editor. You cannot do this by the default team customizer. As you can see, you need your own custom code. And this is how it looks like, as you can see. It has rounded corners. It has this animation on uh, interactive on hover. And it opens the next level uh, drop down menu on a new drop down menu on the right, just like you see right now. And that's how you customize your drop down menu to make it very unique and professional on your Shopify store completely free by using your own code. If you have any questions just like this one, drop me a comment below. I would be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.